The universe has always been a mysterious and awe-inspiring place, filled with secrets and wonders that have captivated humanity for centuries. And now, with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, we are on the brink of uncovering some of the most profound and enigmatic secrets. As the largest and most powerful telescope ever built, the James Webb can peer deeper into the cosmos than ever before, revealing new insights into the origins of the universe and the many hidden mysteries that lie beyond our solar system. Join us today as we look at the discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, also known as JWST or Webb, is a highly anticipated space observatory developed by NASA, which launched on December 25, 2021. It was designed to be the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built with a primary mirror measuring approximately 6.5 meters in diameter. The telescope is designed to capture high-resolution images in the infrared spectrum, which allows astronomers to peer deeper into space than ever before. One of the primary goals of the James Webb Space Telescope is to study the origins of the universe. It's expected to help scientists understand what the universe was like about 200 million years after the Big Bang and capture images of some of the first galaxies ever formed. Additionally, the telescope is expected to help astronomers study the formation of stars and planetary systems by peering through the dusty clouds in space. The development and launch of the James Webb Space Telescope has not been without its challenges, however, with years of delays and setbacks. One of the most significant challenges was delays in cost overruns, which pushed the launch date back several times and caused the project's budget to exceed its original estimate. Another major setback occurred during testing in 2020, when technicians discovered that some of the telescope's sunshield membrane layers were not unfolding properly. This issue required significant repairs and caused additional delays in the launch schedule. Despite these challenges, the James Webb Space Telescope successfully completed some significant milestones, including its first deep field image, which was captured by the near-infrared camera and achieved depths beyond the Hubble Space Telescope's deepest fields. So how does this mega machine actually work? The James Webb Space Telescope is an orbiting infrared observatory that sees the universe in light that is invisible to the human eyes. It complements and extends the discoveries of the Hubble Space Telescope by focusing on longer wavelength coverage and greatly improved sensitivity. The telescope's primary mirror is 6.5 meters in diameter and made of 18 hexagonal segments that unfold and adjust in space to create a larger mirror surface. The mirror will focus incoming light onto a suite of scientific instruments, including cameras and spectrometers that will analyze the light in detail. The JWST's objectives extend and amplify the achievements of NASA's great observatories, which are four extraordinary space-based telescopes equipped with a range of instruments that span the full spectrum of electromagnetic waves. After separating from the Ariane Space Ariane 5 rocket that was launched into space, JWST deployed its solar array and sun shields. The spacecraft was designed to operate at a specific temperature, and the sun shields helped keep the telescope cool by blocking out heat from the sun and Earth. We saw its first photos on July 11, 2022. The deepest parts of the cosmos and massive dust and gas landscapes were exposed. There were massive colliding galaxies and dying stars. The breathtaking photographs exhibit a nearby region in the Carina Nebula, where new stars are being born, captured as a landscape of valleys and mountains adorned with shimmering stars. The images make visible for the first time previously hidden zones of star birth. Although stunning, the photographs are only the beginning. Mountains of data will change our knowledge of the universe. The JWST can explore the entire universe, from the farthest reaches to our solar system's backyard. While results are still preliminary and astronomers worldwide are still adjusting to Earth-bound data, the JWST appears to fulfill what science promises and more. The JWST seeks to discover how the first galaxies formed. Light takes billions of years to travel our cosmos, allowing the formation of these galaxies, which in turn shows the JWST how those objects looked billions of years ago. On the 18th of December, 1995, the Hubble Space Telescope observed a single area of sky for 10 days, highlighting deep fields. One 24 millionth of the sky was the chosen patch. Hubble found 3,000 new objects, chiefly billion light year distant galaxies. The JWST's deep field is centered at SMACS 0723. 
SMACS 0723 is 4.6 billion light years distant. Its powerful gravitational field magnifies faraway galaxies. The greatest gravitational fields twist background galaxies into enormous arcs. The expanding cosmos stretches light. The JWST's main target galaxies are so far that stretching has turned their stars' visible light into infrared. Astronomers can compare JWST views with Hubble and other observatories' visible light photos of nearby galaxies by collecting those wavelengths. This will show how galaxies expand and shape throughout cosmic time. A small, invisible galaxy created the Cartwheel Galaxy. NASA, ESA, CSA, and STSCL's JWST's MIRI and NIRCAM sensors captured the star creation caused by a shock wave. The JWST's first deep field images quantity of galaxies is impressive, but its speed, hours rather than days, is even more so. It finds galaxies everywhere. The JWST imaged VV191, a pair of galaxies, to study how light from one changed as it traveled through the other. The intergalactic dust will be revealed by the analysis. Scientists discovered that the telescope had captured the faint arc of an even more distant galaxy, warped by one of their galaxies. They can now measure the galaxy's mass, because its form depends on the lensing galaxy's mass. Stefan's quintet was one of the JWST's initial photos. These four galaxies are gravitationally interacting. Astronomers can investigate how galaxies interact and merge in the quartet of interacting galaxies. In the early universe, mergers were the main way galaxies grew into the massive star cities we see today. Every galaxy has a supermassive black hole, which is assumed to have grown from mergers. Another amazing success for MIRI was a phantom galaxy M74, a spiral galaxy 32 million light years away. M74 is classified as a grand design spiral galaxy, which means it has well-defined spiral arms that extend out from its central bulge. It's relatively small compared to other spiral galaxies, with a diameter of around 95,000 light years, and has a low surface brightness, making it difficult to observe in certain lighting conditions. The galaxy is notable for its high rate of star formation, which is occurring primarily in its spiral arms. In fact, M74 is one of the most active star-forming galaxies in the local group, the cluster of galaxies that includes the Milky Way. One unusual feature of M74 is that it appears to have a phantom or ghostly appearance in photographs due to the low surface brightness of its outer regions. This has led to it being called the Phantom Galaxy. However, when observed in high-resolution images, it is clear that M74 has a well-defined spiral structure. M74 is one of 19 neighboring star-forming galaxies being observed by the JWST, which will help astronomers locate star-forming regions, quantify star cluster masses and ages, and determine the physical and chemical properties of dust grains in galaxies. The near-infrared camera on the James Webb Space Telescope has captured a stunning image of the star-forming area NGC 3324 in the Carina Nebula, which is located approximately 7,500 light-years away from Earth. This area of space is sometimes referred to as the Cosmic Cliffs, and is the edge of a massive gaseous cavity within NGC 3324. The cavernous area has been carved from the surrounding gas and dust by intense radiation and winds from young massive stars that are being born in the region. The James Webb Space Telescope's NIRCAM captured the image in infrared light, which revealed previously obscured areas of starbirth. The stunning landscape of mountains and valleys seen in the image is actually the edge of the star-forming region NGC 3324, speckled with glittering stars. This is the first time that these previously invisible areas of starbirth had been revealed to astronomers, providing a unique opportunity for further study of this star-forming region and the processes of star formation. In the NIRCAM image, bright orange characteristics near the fingers stand out. Young stars that are being formed create nuclear fusion shockwaves. Huge jets of material are blasted at supersonic speeds and impact with the dusty cocoon around each star, blowing it away and unveiling the newborn star to the universe. One or two bright stars can be seen at the ends of gaseous fingers, which is quite fascinating. These young stars may have solar systems. The JWST's new views of the pillars of creation will help researchers test their star formation expertise and enhance their computer models by exposing more details than ever before. Knowing how galaxies replenish their star supply requires knowledge about the number of young stars, their masses, and the nebula's gas and dust. 
The James Webb Space Telescope has revealed new details about dying stars, specifically the Southern Ring Planetary Nebula. Shells of gas and dust are expelled from dead stars to form planetary nebulae. One of the images captured by the JWST shows a massive star on the verge of a supernova. The ultra-hot core white dwarf star shining in the center of the Southern Ring Nebula is visible in the images captured by the JWST. These images provide a glimpse into the final moments of these stars before they go supernova. The JWST's state-of-the-art technology has allowed scientists to produce stunning full-color images of dying stars, distant galaxies, and water on exoplanets. The JWST confirmed the existence of an exoplanet for the first time, discovered its first new exoplanet, a rocky planet approximately the size of Earth, called LHS 475b, and revealed the atmospheric composition of the hot gas giant exoplanet WASP-39b. LHS 475b is an exoplanet that orbits a red dwarf star roughly 41 light years away, while WASP-39b is a hot gas giant exoplanet. On August 31, 2022, the JWST's near-infrared spectrograph identified a variation in luminosity in the LHS 475 star system as a planet passed in front of the star. The James Webb Space Telescope is a highly advanced scientific instrument that promises to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. With its superior capabilities in detecting and analyzing light from distant objects, it will allow scientists to observe and study some of the earliest galaxies and exoplanets ever formed. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to check out our other videos available on our channel.